Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now in this video, I'm going to share with you five interesting facts about Samuel Michel. Let's get into it. Fact number one, the inception of this beautiful Gothic Benedictine church came from the Bishop of Avranches. He has this vision where he sees the Archangel Michael who orders him to build a sanctuary on this rocky islet. And I'm really glad I took a picture of this sculpture because it describes the moment of inception of this church in 708. So the Bishop has this vision of the Archangel Michael, he ignores it, the Archangel comes back, and then he finally pokes him in his head and burns a hole in his skull. And that's when the Bishop goes, okay, I gotta make this happen. So fact number two, this castle is surrounded by mud flats and tides that are actually one of the fastest rising tides in all of Europe. So it's advised not to go out here. Things can change very quickly and very dramatically. So especially if you're carrying a backpack with camera gear and equipment like me, this can be quite risky. But if you do decide to go out, be cautious. I mean, you can see my boot over here. I am, it's completely covered in mud. Now, fact number three, once you go through the main entrance, the Porte de l'Avance, through the Grand Rue and up the West Terrace, you will find yourself in this area called the Cloister, also known as Les Merveilles. And this over here is a rectangular gallery with no roof. So the clergy and the priest can get some air, some exercise. And it's also a place for prayer and meditation. But here's an interesting fact about this. There's 137 columns over here in double rows. The number one symbolizes there's one God, number three for the Holy Trinity, and seven for the seven days of the week. 137 has a symbolical relevance to the architecture, which I thought was incredible. Now this over here is the Salle des Chevaliers, and at this point in the evolution of church architecture, we're still in the period of imitation of a forest, and we're starting to allow a lot of light flood into the church, and there was a lot of growing desire for brightness in the church until the church was now completely flooded with light. And even if we look outside, guys, we can see these Romanesque art arches are now rising to become gothic pointed arches like a prayer to have more light enter the dark corners of our world. Now fact number four there is a statue of Joan of Arc here. After the French Revolution she became a national symbol for France. She played a very important role in the Hundred Years War between England and France especially in the Siege of Orleans and unfortunately she was caught. She was tried on 70 different charges by a pro-English bishop and she was burned at the stake. She was officially martyred at the age of 19. It's an incredible story. She, it's just, I might just do a separate video on her, but she is now formally canonized as a saint by the Roman Catholic Church. Now, fact number five, the culinary special at Lomo Michel are omelets. These are world famous omelets and they are whipped until they are frothy and light. They cook it right in front of you over here. And they also have salt marsh lamb, I uh, you know the pré -salé. Also the crepes here are incredible, so make sure you try that as well. The innkeepers with their omelets, countless postcards, bavan pottery, villadu leather, religious pictures, co de mount, silver gilt trinkets and medals. They have all kinds of medieval artwork and this is a lot of incredible things here guys. I'm just blown away by this whole experience over here. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I definitely had a good time making it and I learned so much from this experience. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Take care guys.